everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for SimusStamp.com. Today I'm going to be using two brand new die sets that are included in the December 2019 release. I'm using The Best Is Yet To Come and The World Needs. These are two greeting dies that I designed using my calligraphy and hand lettering. So I'm going to be using some Arches cold press watercolor paper today, and I'm going to be creating two different backgrounds, one to be used with each die. I'm using some shimmer powders from Nouveau. I'm using Atlantis Burst and Violet Brocade. These are really fun. It's a really different product, and they're really fun to create backgrounds. So for this first one, I'm wetting the entire area with a large paintbrush, just clean, clear water. And then I'm tapping the jar gently or the bottle gently just to put down a little bit of this Atlantis Burst Powder. Quite a bit comes out even with very, very small taps. So after I have that going, I'm going to lift up my hard board here and kind of get things moving. When you're doing a technique like this, I really recommend taping down your watercolor paper to a hard surface that you can pick up. You can use a clipboard, you can use a hard board like this, anything that you can pick up and kind of tip and tilt so that you can really get that water moving and get all of that those uh, paints moving. So I'm spraying it with my Distress Sprayer bottle, just adding more water. And then the, some of the powders had really concentrated in some areas and I wanted them to move around. So I forced that with a paintbrush. Just trying to get all of those colors to really move around. I'm gonna test to make sure that area is large enough for my dye. And then I moved on to the other background. So for this one, I'm also wetting the entire area with a large wet brush. And then I'm going to pounce or tap a few times on this bottle just to get a few of this uh, powder drops to come out. And this one really spreads once you get it going. And I love how it has different shades of blue and red that mix to create a purple. I think it's really, really cool. So I'm tipping my board. You can really see that color starting to move around and spreading out from the center area of my background. I used a paintbrush to help those colors move along a little bit. And then I decided that I would add even more of this powder since I needed it to be on there even a little bit more. So I'm just tapping the bottle, getting that color moving. And this is where you can really see those different colors, the different bits of blue and red. It's really gorgeous. And there's also a shimmer to this powder, which sometimes um, I don't even notice as much as the color, but the shimmer is actually really, really beautiful as well. And you'll be able to see the shimmer even more so once the watercolor is dry. So I sprayed that with my sprayer bottle a few more times just to get that color really moving. And I also used my paintbrush to help wet the powder that was sort of concentrating in one or two areas. Used my paper towel just to sop up some water if it was collecting in large puddles. And then I used my heat tool to speed along the drying process. You definitely don't have to use a heat tool. You can let it air dry, but it does move things along more quickly. So here you can see all of that shimmer Looks really, really pretty in the light. And I'm gonna do one more thing before I call these backgrounds done. I'm gonna spray some water into the palm of my hand and sort of flick the water on here. I was wondering if it would have a similar effect as when I do this with the Distress inks. And it does have a little bit of a, a similar effect on the teal, on the aqua uh, Atlantis Burst. It takes off the shimmer off the top of the surface. And on the Violet Brocade, it does eat away at that color just a tiny bit as well as the shimmer. So a little bit of a different result depending on the color you use. I then took my two greeting dies, um, not the shadow of the dies, but just the dies themselves, just the words, and die cut each of these four times. So I've got die cuts for, for each of these um, so I can stack them up and make them super, super thick. I'm using some Gina K Designs Connect glue, and I'm putting dots of glue over each one of these letters, making sure I get glue um, on the ends of the letters. Then use my tweezers to help guide me when adhering these together. And after I have them basically in the right spot, I'm going to pick up the entire stack of die cuts and use my fingertips to manipulate the paper and get them to press together so they match perfectly. This part of the process is very time consuming, but I hope when you see the results, you'll understand why I take the time to do this. I think it looks so amazing on the final card. So I have all four layers all adhered together. They're super, super thick. And then I can adhere it directly onto my background. 
I've trimmed down this background so that it's a little bit smaller than a card front and I'm adhering my greeting directly onto the front. So I've got this done down here. I'm actually going to put a ruler and a couple of acrylic blocks on top just to press it down into that watercolor paper while it dries. I did the same for the other die, all the other die cuts, four layers worth, adhered them all together, and then adhered them directly onto my watercolor background and pressed it down really well. You can see how thick those die cuts are all stacked together. It's a really dramatic effect on a very simple background like this. I think it looks really, really neat. So I've adhered the watercolor backgrounds to card fronts that are cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I took some crystal sequins from Darius. This is the eight millimeter and five millimeter size. I used the same exact sequins for both of these cards, but you can see how the color looks a little bit different depending on what's behind the sequins. So um, I adhered that with some more Gina K Designs Collect Connect glue. And you can see once that glue dries, it's completely clear. You can't see the glue behind the sequins. And adding the sequins just adds a little bit of some intense sparkle along with that more subtle shimmer from the Nouveau Shimmer Powders. Thanks for watching today. I will be back with another video very soon.